Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has assured Nigerians that the security challenges bedeviling the country will soon be forgotten. He revealed that the Nigerian government has increased efforts to adequately combat the insecurity, adding that the supplementary budget sent to the National Assembly for approval would address the procurement of military weapons for the use of all security agents in the country. Professor Osimbanjo disclosed this when he received in audience the Oluyi of Inyekiti, His Royal Majesty Obadiola Adeniyi Ajakaye at the Presidential Villa, Abuja. He however said, it is the obligation of every Nigerian citizen to support the nation's security service to ensure that Nigeria is safe. Vanguard report. I can assure you that soon, the issue of insecurity will be a thing of the past and that we will all live in peace and prosperity in this country, Osibanjo said. Osibanjo added that President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated a committee to examine the 90 gritty of the security lapses in the country and address them for the foundation which further propel him to send the supplementary budget. He said, the president has recently constituted a committee that will look at the whole insecurity infrastructure with a view of looking at the needs of the military as well as the police and security agencies. The result of that is a bill before the National Assembly, a supplementary bill. The purpose for that bill is to present some of the needs of the military as well as the security agencies in order to be able to beef up our response to the security challenges. He emphasized the need for paramount rulers, local and state governments to partner with the Nigerian government to tackle insecurity. He said, any country with this number of security challenges must respond as you know, robustly as possible. But it is also important to bear in mind that it takes a combined force of all of us at the local government level, states and federal levels, all of the levels we need to come together to tackle this issue of insecurity. He said even as the Nigerian government is very concerned and will you know, persistently upgrade efforts towards improving security nationwide, community efforts are also important in tackling the issue from the roots. He stated that it is an unavoidable conclusion that at the level of community, there is a need to take decisive action as most of the security issues occur at the community level. The Vice President expressed happiness that the traditional ruler has a committee in place in his domain organized for the purpose of tackling insecurity and that you have been able to contain the menace that we see in different parts of the country in your community. He added that the President Buhari-led administration will provide necessary support to the community in tackling its challenges, adding that the government is also working with the Ekiti state government you know, on dealing with insecurity as well as various issues. In his remark, the Olunyi of Inyekiti Obadiola Deni Yajakai thanked the Vice President for granting them audience and listening to their demands, including support for the establishment of a Federal University of Medical and Health Science in the community. What is your thought about what has been said? What is your reaction to this that you have had? I'd like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this. We have had the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, who have assured Nigerians that the current challenges bedeviling the country will soon be forgotten. He however said that, it is the obligation of every Nigerian citizen to support the nation's security service to ensure that Nigeria is safe. What is your thought about this? I'd like you to share your own thoughts and point of view with us on this that has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things. Isaac Okori reacted to this and said, Your Excellency, after more than six years of lies and desist with far worse names, you know, condition of extreme poverty, hardship, injustice, nepotism and regular barbaric killing and shedding of innocent blood every day throughout the country. When will this your son arrive? Surely there was a country. What is your thought about what Isaac Okori have said? 
what is your reaction and thought about this we have heard what okori have said that when will this you know your son arrive we have been hearing soon 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 and soon when will this soon arrive more than six years now nigeria has been battling with worsening you know condition of extreme poverty hardship insecurity injustice nepotism and barbaric you know regular barbaric killings and shedding of innocent blood every day throughout the country it is obvious that people are dying every day in nigeria and mostly it is the innocent blood that is being shed in this country we don't know how to go about this present situation because the citizens of nigeria are really frustrated about what is going on presently they don't know how to go about the present situation and looking at the leaders of nigeria it is obvious that the leaders have contributed immensely in the present insecurity situation in this country the level of insecurity the level of poverty and the level of unemployment in nigeria you know was instigated by the poor leader we have in nigeria these poor leaders have you know led the nigerian citizens into what we are today we just hope that the lord in his infinite mercy will have mercy on nigeria and we take us out of what we have gotten ourselves into because it is really getting out of hands people are being kidnapped poverty has become the other of the day in nigeria even people who are working are going through you know hardship injustice is practiced in nigeria nepotism among the leaders regular barbaric killing is going on presently in nigeria we have you know regular shedding of innocent blood every day people are dying every day innocent people are trying you know they are dying every day whereas the, the real perpetrators are moving up and down in the streets without anybody you know stopping them nobody harassing them whereas the innocent ones who know nothing about it are the one being prosecuted what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said but let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on this kingsley gkz reacted to this and said why is that man hypocritical he is no longer a child of god and a pastor for that matter why hasn't he resigned since now his character is made in the mold and mr adeboye should have advised him to opt out of government he is dancing to the script written by his master this is so pathetic how do you expect a man of god a pastor for that matter to be you know reacting to what is being said this way why will a you know the vice president of a nation be silent concerning the present situation of things how will he be reacting this way to the present situation of things we have people dying every day and yet probably they are not doing anything about it we have had kinsley saying adeboye should have advised him to opt out of the government at least he should have resigned why hasn't he you know resigned since why hasn't he resigned since what is he still, you know still waiting for what is your thought about what Kinsley have said? We would like you to drop your thoughts and comments concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. We have heard what Osimbajo has said that very soon we will all live in peace and prosperity in this country. He said amid this insecurity and worsening economy, Nigeria will still live in peace. What is your thought about this? How do you expect you know, Nigerians to believe this statement? Or do you you know believe this statement that Nigeria will still live in peace and prosperity? You know amid this insecurity and worsening economy we have presently in nigeria i would like you to drop your thoughts via the comment section on what has been said thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now